Oncotype DX uh, provides us with information about invasive breast cancers with high and low risk recurrence scores, and now we have Oncotype DX available uh, for the potential benefit or not of radiation therapy with DCIS. But I've been asked again to sort of explain this business of a high recurrence score and a low recurrence score. And uh, please remember that in invasive breast cancer, the, the two really important values of the Oncotype DX are these. One, we get a number that predicts your chance of having the cancer recur elsewhere in your body uh, over the next 10 years. The recurrence score gives us a percentage number that we share with you. And two, because this is a continuum in this score, where the benefit of chemotherapy is found with high recurrence scores and there's no benefit at the low recurrence score. Therefore, we get an index, if you will, with the recurrence score of the potential benefit or not of chemotherapy. Uh, the one area uh, that's sort of in, in between is called the intermediate risk score with the uh, Oncotype DX. Um, several months ago, we closed out a very important national clinical trial called the Taylor X trial that actually looked scientifically and prospectively at this issue of the intermediate risk score. Now, remember, if you've got a high risk score, you need chemotherapy as well as the anti-estrogen therapy after the chemotherapy. If you've got a low risk recurrence score, there is no benefit to chemotherapy and you really only need anti-estrogen therapy, whether that be tamoxifen uh, or an aromatase inhibitor. But it's been this gray zone in between that was the subject of this really wonderful and important national prospective clinical trial. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while for that data to mature. Um, I'm not sure what the first reporting dates are going to be. I think what we're going to find, I hope what we're going to find from that is that that continuum exists in the intermediate risk, and as you get higher in the intermediate risk, indeed there may be that we need to make sure that somebody has chemotherapy. So if, as I've shared with you several times, uh, your estrogen receptor positive and lymph node negative in our premenopausal, uh, with an invasive breast cancer, in my view, you need an Oncotype DX uh, uh, examination. Same is true of the postmenopausal women, but particularly we can also add in the postmenopausal women, if you have one to three lymph nodes uh, positive, we're finding that the Oncotype DX recurrence score is very helpful in that group as well, and determining whether somebody would benefit from chemotherapy. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.